Hi, I'm Sam Smeltzer. I'm a certified HR professional and a medical Qigong practitioner. I'm also the founder of Leadership Arts Associates, a boutique HR consulting firm, and the creator of the Heart Center that's devoted to restoring passionate professionals through yin yoga, Qigong, and intuitive services. I'm also the author of the HR Intuitive that's filled with 33 lessons to awaken your inner guide. And I'm so honored to be able to share one of those lessons with you today. This lesson I want to share with you is regarding yin and yang philosophy, something that we've heard time and time again. For me, I remember being in middle school and couldn't wait to have those yin yang mood bracelets and having them shared with my, with my best friend. You know, am I going to get the white piece or the black piece? Um, the one thing that I always remember is associating evil with one and good with other. So if the friend that got the white piece, does that mean they were the good friend? And if I got the black piece, am I the evil friend? The black is associated with yin and the white is associated with yang. What we need is actually both. The philosophy of these two is it comes in the great form of balance. Extreme of one or the other is not healthy. In our society, we've embraced yang. We go, go, go. We're super active. We pack our days. We feed off stress. And then when we're stressed out, how are we taught to cope with those strategies? Let's go to the gym. Let's do a workout. Let's have even more yang activity. What we're missing is yin. Yin is what allows us to go inward, allows us to restore, rejuvenate our energy. And we're not taught ways to do that. In fact, what most of us say is, I can't do that meditation stuff. That's just not for me. That is a true testament to how young our society has become. So my challenge to you today is to look at your life. Are you more yin or yang? Chances are, if you're a lot like me, it's a lot of yang. You just pack your days in and, and, and the idea of embracing yin just seems so foreign. To you, it might seem like a waste of time. But I'm telling you, if you just introduce a little bit of yin into your life, you will experience so many benefits that you don't even know are possible. You might even find yourself being more productive. So how do you start that? Especially if you know I can't do that yin stuff. I can't do 30 minutes of meditation. It starts with breath. It starts with very intentional breath. So I'm gonna invite you now to just do some abdominal breathing. And when we're doing abdominal breathing, we're gonna ask that you inhale through the nose with the mouth closed. And as you inhale, you wanna feel the breath travel down through the lungs and fill the abdominal. On the exhale, it's gonna come out of the nose. So this deep breath releasing then from the abdominal up to the lungs and out of the nose. So let's go ahead and do that together. And close your eyes, place your hands on your abdominal, and just take a deep breath in through the nose. Feel it filling the lungs all the way to the abdominal. Feel the belly rising as you fill the belly. Pause for a moment. And then slowly exhale it out through the nose. So the mouth is still closed. And then you can continue repeating this process. This is a yin practice. Breath is yin. This was just a taste of one of the 33 lessons in the HR Intuitive. For more, pick up your copy of the HR Intuitive today. <laughs>